What's going on YouTube? Today is what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be painting my exhaust tips on my 2018 ZL1. We have a full header system and it has these active exhausts in the back where I can flip a switch and the exhaust goes from quiet to loud mode basically. And I love that. Um, I had coarse exhaust on my old ZL1. I'll put a clip right now. So you can hear it sounds good, but that car had still had primary cats. So those these cars come with secondary and primary cats. What I did was, eh, what I did was I took out the secondary cats and then I did an axle back. So it was super loud. Right now, uh, Corsa still makes, or actually just came out with a couple years ago, is a Corsa cat back. So you don't gotta delete the secondary cats. Already has it in the exhaust. But at the time I did, and it sounded great. But my car, my ZL1, actually has a. Uh, header system with connecting pipes and I love the way it sounds and it sounds like stock when I put it in quiet mode So I'm not gonna do a Corsa, Corsa axle back um, It's perfect how it is I just want the exhaust tips to be black because they're a chrome and they get dirty and I don't got time to clean them all the time and Basically, it's gonna paint them black. So here today I'm gonna show you how to do that right now What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this exhaust and I'm gonna drop it down slightly so You can see under here it's the Cook's cat back or Cook's exhaust. Basically, it's a headers all the way to the connecting pipes back here. Um, I think I just gotta loosen these up right here. Um, and this should drop down as long as I get the hanger as well. But I'm gonna get these exhaust tips basically powder coated. You can see the headers are making them black and making the whole back of the bumper black. But <clears throat> I don't wanna go ahead and clean these ever. So I'm just gonna clean those up. All right, we got the exhaust out. It was a little bit more of a pain than I expected because I just take these hangers out. I had to take the connecting pipes hangers out. I didn't see these when we were, so we're yanking on it. We didn't see these here. So we got those out and the hanger bracket right there. But I'm gonna get these powder coated or either painted. And I'm gonna see what I can do. I think I'm gonna scuff them down and try to spray paint them with myself with some ceramic, like, I don't know, exhaust paint or something. This is what catless exhaust looks like. This is all exhaust fumes that have been caked up up there. I have a couple things laid out here. I have some uh, sandpaper and some of these caliper paints that I found in my uh, toolbox. Basically some caliper paint. Uh, I think I've used this before. This is some good stuff, but uh, I'm gonna test it out and see what works best. And obviously spray on something like a piece of paper right there and uh, obviously use a higher grit. So these are 2000, I think these are way too high, 2500. Um, I'm gonna start at probably 1500 to see how it goes and then I'll work my way up um, or I'll even start at like 400, work my way up to see what uh, works best. I'm gonna cover the Camaro. I'm gonna bring it down on the lift, cover the Camaro. I got the GTR covered here just so any overspray doesn't get on the paint. This is already good covered. And so I'm gonna bring it down, cover it up and then bring it all the way back up and spray underneath the car. And I'm not really worried about overspray underneath the car because it's just gonna be all paint and, or whatever comes up there. If it does come up, it's already dirty under the car. So I'm not worried about that. So I got them as clean as I can get them. If you look on the outside, they're super clean. I have to, uh, next, I have to basically go and clean and sand them a little bit, but they're a little bit dirty in here. I can't really do much because of that, because um, it's on headers or it has headers and it just kind of burns the exhaust. So I'm gonna leave that, I'm not really worried about it. I wiped alcohol a bunch of times, so it cleaned off as much as I can clean off. Like I said, I'm gonna start sanding it and see how that goes. And uh, then I'm gonna tape around the edges here and uh, the whole muffler because I don't want it to look all weird. So I'm just gonna do the exhaust tips and 
uh, block off the actuators because I don't want those to get blocked up either. I gotta clean the tips one last time with some alcohol and then I'm gonna start spraying. So it's pretty simple here. So I got my Rust-Oleum Professional Enamel here. This one was better than the other one I was using. And the other one was like uh, Dupa Color or something like that. This is just spraying a little bit better. And um, got my mask right here. We're ready to spray. It's all cleaned up already. I think I'm actually gonna go with the Dupa Color because I'm not sure how high of a heat this can take. So I gotta be careful with this though because it's been sputtering a little bit. I don't want to sputter and you know leave drips on my my tips but basically this has ceramic in it as well so this is with ceramic so i'm gonna see how it goes i know if you leave them in hot water it'll make the uh paint particles a little bit thinner and it'll spray a lot even but we'll see how it goes and i'm gonna start spraying and then uh see what i need to do I did long, long uh, sweeps, and I only stopped when I got off of the actual application I'm doing. So when you're spraying, you spray, stop here, spray, stop here. You don't stop at the end. You don't just stop at the end. You have to do full passes. So they look really, really good for being spray paint. Um, I did four coats on them, and I think I'm gonna try to do a clear coat. If it works, cool. If it doesn't, it'll probably burn off anyways. But I mean, they look pretty good. I'm gonna wait about 15 more minutes, 20 more minutes, spray the clear coat and then pull all the wrap off of it. I'm actually gonna go and uh, clear coat them. I don't want any kind of huge, you know, when you spray clear coat, if you don't spray it evenly, it'll show a, you know, a large amount of it. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. I think they look good. I gotta unwrap it right now before it dries so I can pull it up and the tape doesn't pull up with the paint. For a garage paint job, these look pretty good. Being that uh, there's a little bit of dirt and stuff. These are, they're already kind of dry, but there's some dirt in there. But for the most part, it looks like it's factory, honestly. With the stuff with the stuff they're putting out nowadays, it definitely looks factory. But the uh, it looks good. I'm gonna put it back on the car. There is some drips. Um, you can't see there. There's a small drip under here, and one of these exhaust tips. There's a little bit of, you see a drip right there, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm not really concerned because these are gonna get super filthy and hopefully shoot some exhaust flames soon enough. But I'm uh, pretty tired. It's like four in the morning. I worked late, so I'll catch you guys in the morning when I put the exhaust back on. I got the exhaust back on. Everything's good to go. Can't really see it that much right now, but uh, those black tips look really good. They actually look really clean too. And they look kind of glossy. They don't look too uh, matte-ish. I thought they were gonna look like, you know, matte black. I don't want it to look like that because the whole car is glossy. Um, but it looks really good. It came out how, exactly how I wanted to. The inside of it's black too, as you see over there. Um, came out good. The inside is probably gonna burn up a little bit because of the exhaust. But for the most part, it's going to be black. So came out really nice. If you guys have any questions, comment them down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at Sinister underscore lifestyle. My Facebook is Sinister Life. My Facebook page. If you guys enjoyed the video, like it up. I'm out of here.